interview some people and see how the meeting's going so far. So let's go. Who can we interview? Hey guys, so we are doing an interview for the Taiko Community Facebook page. Not Facebook, Oh, sorry, live stream, which is essentially on the Facebook page. And we want to ask you guys some questions about how the weekend is going. So, the first question is, after the first session, what are your big takeaways so far? What are your big opinions about how this weekend is going to shape up? Go ahead, Mark. <laughs> Thanks, Josh. Um, yeah, no, I'm... I am, oh, I need to introduce yourself. Oh, sorry. Uh, Mark H. Rooney uh, of Mark H. Tycho, Washington, D.C. I'm not going to answer that question. Um, the, the, I, I mean, I think it's going great. I mean, I think we're, we're starting out by just flushing out a lot of good ideas and just getting the dialogue started. Um, I do, my, my fear is that there are so many things to talk about and so many opinions that people have that we're not going to get to everything, obviously, but um, you know, I, I, it's, it's great to hear. I mean, I think there's a lot of common areas that we all want to address, so I, I'd, I'd be very interested to hear some of the less common ones and, and the dissenting opinions. A little bit more, so I'm hoping that that'll flush out some. Also, um, I'm counting on Shoji for that. I'm hoping that he, you know, just starts trouble because he likes to. So, well, what do you have to say about that, Shoji? What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm eating. Um, I, I thought the first session went well. I think bringing in the moderator was. A great idea. So whoever had that idea, major, major props. I like. I feel like with her and her guiding uh, this this whole process, something might actually get done. And I'm excited about seeing how she is going to take all of these big issues that we talked about and actually get them down into like some concrete, workable things that we can actually build an actual organization with. I'm really excited about the prospects of this meeting after seeing. Uh, uh, Gail's Gail work in there. I think she's really excellent, and I'm looking. Yeah, I think I'm. I'm very hopeful that something might actually get done instead of just talking around in circles like we normally do. So, whose idea was that? Was that you, Sue? Okay. Ah, oh, so it's a combination between Elise and and Susan. Great job, guys. And Steve, fantastic, fantastic idea and great, great, yeah. Great job. Thank you. Let's go see some more people. Is there anyone watching us out there? If you're watching us, can you can you make some comments on the Facebook page or or make some comments on the live stream so we know that you're out there? It says two viewers. Woohoo, two viewers. Okay, who shall we ask? Let's talk to Stuart. Oh, okay. Hello. Hi. So we're doing a live stream as part of this weekend, and we'd like to interview you on how on your thoughts on the first session and how it went. So I wasn't there. Can you kind of describe the process for us and tell us what you were doing? I'll do the best I can. Um, I have been. Oh, and sorry. Introduce yourself too. Okay. Stuart Payton, Burlington Tyco. Oh, <laughs> Stuart Payton, Burlington Tyco. Um, let me actually clip it on. Okay, starting over. Stuart Payton, Burlington. Oh, this is live stream, so all the starts over happen over and over again. I'm catching up to technology. Um, Burlington Tyco. Uh, my Tyco age is 30, and. Um, it's great to be here. I am actually surviving this event. My brain is not quite following the larger structure of what's going on. But um, let's see, we are doing thoughtful and uh, spontaneous um, excavation of what Tycho means to us and 
what's important, um, what we like, what we don't like, and we're aiming for um, some foundation of a what collected values of this new TCA organization. Um, if I get going, I can talk for a long time. But I, I'm really excited about the, um, the collected, collective experience that's here, uh, not only in the field of Tyco, but um, also in organizational development. Because I have heard about it and watched it, but there's some black belts here. It's really exciting. And oh, PJ has really good chocolate. How am I doing? You're welcome. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody back home. Hi to everybody back home. Yep. Hi, everyone back home, wherever your home is. <laughs> okay, who else can we interview? I have so many more questions. Let's interview. Who do you want to interview? Let's go to the middle somewhere. How about PJ and Roy? Or PJ. Well, that, that corner. Those three okay, right let's go over there. We're walking through the middle of Braun Courtyard right now. Hello, everyone. So we're doing a live stream um, as part of this weekend. And we have some viewers right now who, who we'd like to who we'd like to uh, let know what's going on this weekend at the TCA launch. So we talked to a couple of people already and we've talked about kind of what the first session has been like. Can you give us some takeaways of like, you know, big topics that came out in that first session or interesting things that happened? I wasn't there, so I'd also love to hear about it. Who would like to start? And if you could also introduce yourself and the group that you play with. You can I, clip it onto yourself. I, oh. I, I can clip it. I have to clip yeah, it. Or can I can I hold it? Oh, you can hold it, yeah. Okay. Hello, I'm PJ Hirabayashi, um, San Jose Taiko Artistic Director Emeritus. Um, I am really enjoying this process uh, to determine uh, what TCA is and the potential of where it goes. Um, I really feeling this really accelerated sense of urgency and also excitement uh, as everybody's coming together and really pouring out their ideas and sharing. I, I think these um, uh, our little breakout sessions, unlike unlike Tycho conferences where we do break out and have all these different workshops and you walk away with technique and go home and you're able to embellish your repertoire. I think this is a little bit more in really having all of us focus on why we are doing Taiko and why we are, um, how do we perpetu perpetuate a sustainable community that it's not only for the sake of just having a good time playing Taiko and that's it. That we all kind of take responsibility of uh, contributing into what I can, well, if it's Tycho Community Alliance, you know, we should define what community means. Community means different definitions for so many people. And that's what we're finding in these discussions. And I feel that we should distill what uh, community is. What are the values for community that needs to be practiced and perpetuated. It's something that we can practice for everybody to say that this is high goal, regardless. Thank you. Uh, my name is uh, Margaret McKenty, and I am with Hinode Taiko in Winnipeg, Canada. Uh, one of the three Canadians here at this conference. Oh yeah, but I'm an honorary Canadian there, don't yeah, you know? Yeah, because she's from Minnesota, eh? So yeah, yeah. yeah. So she's got the. Uh, yeah, yeah, so she's got yeah. the accent. Of course, they're the 51st state, you know. <laughs> but but she'll speak for herself, eh? So uh, so I'm just very uh, amazed and excited 
uh, at the energy in this room and the uh, range of perspectives. I think the organizers have done a superb job of um, getting uh, such an interesting and diverse array of people in the room who are all incredibly passionate about Tyco. And uh, even though people are coming from different perspectives, there's so much respect already in the room for the fact that we need that diversity and we need um, to be able to hear the differences between, our, between ourselves. And I think the next couple of days are going to be even more of that. It's going to be quite amazing to hear that. Um, and I think also that the, the challenges are we need to come up with something in the way of a distillation of what, as PJ said, of what, what it is that we need to do to go forward. But I think this is also kicking off a dialogue or, or taking a dialogue to another level that's going to continue. And so in a way, we're, I think, well, for myself anyway, I'm going to be coming away with more questions than when I left and more things to reflect about. And uh, so I think the dialogue is going to be ongoing for other people, maybe, well, for me, certainly, I hope for other people, too. So it's just going to get broader and deeper, and I think it's, it's a, this is a wonderful benchmark. And uh, I really hope that we have something to show at the end of this session, but even the experience itself is like finding another tribe of people to, that you belong to, that you can do things with, and uh, gain understanding, and uh, hopefully help other people with their, with their participation in Tyco as well. Does that make sense? Did it make sense with that? That's pretty good. Okay, I'm going to turn this over to her. The, All words, right. the words came out in order. They did. That's amazing. I know. That's good, eh? Yeah. Hey, got to have another A, eh? Yeah. Well, the red wine helped, too. Oh, say out and about and about for me, would you? Out and about. Oh, I love that. About. Oh, I love it when she does that just the best. Hi, I'm Wendy Yedlichka, and I'm with the Moo Community Taiko Group. That's the, the performing hobby group of Moo Daiko, and which is part of Moo Performing Arts. Which is? In Minnesota, which is what? What else do you want, man? Well, I'm just saying. Oh, know. Jeez! So they can snip me out and they still know who you are. Oh, okay, fine. Uh, anyways, it's in Minnesota, and we're actually pretty lucky in Minnesota. There are several Tycho groups, and it's a pretty big Tycho town, which I know. Up on the 45th parallel, who would know? But yeah, it's a pretty be pretty decent Tycho town, and uh, with a really diverse a group of people participating in it. And I came into this thing to bring the kind of a community group perspective, not what you would typically think of as a Tyco player, you know, this middle-aged, chunky Czech lady. Um, but I can wail about you like the best of them and have good fun doing it. By the way, chunky Czech ladies unite. Um, so what do I, what do I want to do for here? I, I'm looking forward to the decoupling of preconceptions the recoupling of things that we think are important and trying to define or not define direction to allow Tyco to expand in North America and hopefully further um, and to, to really uh, celebrate it as a living art form. That's what I got. What do you got? Got anything else to add there? What? What? No. no. I, okay. We're trying to figure out what decoupling means. Well, you know, like unhooking. Unhooking. Uh, but in the nicest possible way. You know, not ripping asunder, but, you know, just taking things apart that were maybe misconceptions. Huh? Kind of redefining, redefining and also... Well, I don't, I don't want to use... Maybe not, or, 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 I think it's communicating. Yes. Yeah. Okay, that's all. Okay. Hot potato. <laughs> anyway, that's what we got, and... Hey, out there in TV land. There's two viewers. <laughs> two viewers? Thank you <laughs> very you? much. You're the best two viewers ever. Yeah. Where are they, anyway? I have no idea. Who else should we talk to? Say hello to our live stream audience, everyone. We do have a few representatives from Collegiate Taiko, and they're here. Some of them from Stanford Taiko and UCSD Asayake. This is for our live stream audience. We have an audience of a couple of viewers who are watching us right now. So say hi to them. Yeah. Yes. 
Would anyone like to talk to our live audience about what's going on this weekend or anything? No? <laughs> So thanks for watching to viewers out there. We'll be back tomorrow with a lot more ideas, a lot more enthusiasm, and a lot more food. Woo!